Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday and just before I begin this episode I want to say I'm sorry that I haven't made a Throwback Thursday video or just a nor regular video in such a long time. I've been busy on holiday with my family but I'm going to start making them again. I'm going to start grinding but this week's theme is a Ninjago pilot season which is honestly one of the best scenes of Ninjago. It kickstarted the whole series. Now the set I'm going to be reviewing for you all today is Garmadon's Dark Fortress which is an absolutely fantastic set. Definitely one of the best pilot season sets in my opinion. Personally, I think it's amazing. The best feature of the set has to be the awesome play feature where the skill like spider can literally pop off of the side of the building. Really, really cool play feature. And also the minifigures are fantastic. I'll get into them a little bit later, but the rest of the build is amazing. I love all the different skeleton like bones used to decorate the rest of the building. Then the set also comes with two gun turrets which fire skeleton heads, which is kind of creepy if you think about it. And this really cool throne where Garmadon could sit. I'll get to his minifigure in a little bit. It's got some cool fire popping off at the back of his chair. So overall, this build is really top tier. But now let's get into the most exciting part, which I always love reviewing, is the minifigures. This set comes with six minifigures. All of them are pretty fantastic. Bonesai and Choppy are the henchmen in the set, basically the cannon fodder that the ninja can just beat up. They look really good, and each of them have a different face print. Then the next figure you get in the set is Samakai. He looks phenomenal. He's got a custom custom head mold which looks amazing, his eyes look fantastic, and he also comes with four arms. But a minifigure that you get in the set that should come with four arms that doesn't come with four arms is Garmadon. But I guess at this point in the show he didn't have four arms yet, but this Garmadon only has two arms and he doesn't have any printing on the legs, so he's not the best iteration of Garmadon that we've ever gotten, but other than that he's a pretty cool minifigure. Now the one of the ninjas that you get is Nia, and she is not in her suit because I think she only gets that in season 6, but she looks really cool, she's got great printing on her torso and legs and overall she's a fantastic minifigure and the final minifigure that comes with the set is the original suit kai he looks phenomenal it's amazing that he's got such a cool headpiece it is just such an awesome awesome piece to own and overall he's a fantastic figure he's got some great printing and overall just an amazing top tier minifigure well guys overall i think this is an amazing set i really wished i picked it up when it came out so yeah that's the set reviewed so what did you think of my review make sure to drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments below.